I've always thought my forehead lacked something. And I think that was what was missing for my entire life. My forehead piece. <laughs> We started doing the Mughal, we started doing the, the typical Indian art, mm -hmm. the 22 karat gold, which was also again Byzantine and Greek and Roman, which was done for men. So I'll show you that and then I'll show you the workshop, how we've been making. It's not like a proper showroom, showroom like how the other jewelry houses are, yep. that you go there, like there's a counter behind that a man standing there and yeah. you know you want to see some jewelry, you point it out. Yeah. It's a completely different experience. You come here, you open your own drawers, Take out all the jewelry, whatever you want to see, wear it, walk around, and that's wow. how we all do it. Why, why did you guys decide to do it that way? Uh, it was just like a, because jewelry is a very personal thing, you know. It, it should not be just kept inside the wardrobe or your own closet. That you want to see it, and okay, that's nice. You should wear it and feel it. If it talks to you, that's what you do. I mean, it's a family business. Uh, now I'm the ninth generation, and the youngest. Ninth. Uh, like in rock manner, like these solid rocks, and. That's Quartz? rose quartz. Quartz, yeah, rose quartz. I used to pick this up when I was a kid in Colorado. Right, Joe? Yeah. Can I touch? Yes, please. So, you this know, is awesome. Best part this about is really is, cool. In this business, it's all about family, uh, tradition, and also generation going. Look at that, this guy just carved this. But the idea of making jewelry, what we started doing was to making it from all these sides. So even from the back, uh -huh. when you see it, so it's, oh, wow. it's there. That's cool. That is very cool. That's what I told you, the idea of this place is that only. It's not that you, can't, you just see the jewelry out there in the drawers. You can wear it, walk around, feel it. If you... How much would you say just a rough guess is sitting in front of Vivian right now? <laughs> <laughs> couple million? Between us, yeah, a couple of million, definitely. Like all, all uh, my my family's education. <laughs> and then rotate it. Yeah, right there. Just playing with the uh, cousin of the Hope Diamond here. We'll make you wear the Maharani jewelry, and we'll make you have a okay. proper time like Maharani. Okay. Off, Jeb. Thank you. So let's go for it. Oh wow! <laughs> just a casual necklace coming. It's just a diamond bib. Actually, why I call it the diamond bib? It is like a bib. Look at the flexibility of the necklace. Wow. I can actually like roll it up completely. It's very it similar to the bibs I used when I was a baby. Yeah? Yeah, very similar. A long necklace, a headpiece, a fidget spinner ring. Oh yeah, I need all those. I mean, this is we're only halfway there yet. That's your ring for the day. Oh wow, look at that. And actually, it's, it's a fidget ring. Wow. Yeah, you got some more boxes there, babe. Cool, thanks. Oh, okay. Let me upgrade this one. Sorry, Momentum watches. That one's out. I haven't got enough necklaces, Maybe so we're gonna get necklace cool. number two. All these jewelry have that back work. So that's the enamel work, typically wow. done in Rajasthan. Holy cow. I think you can even dress up an old grey t-shirt. A couple million dollars worth of diamonds and anyone can look good. So that's how actually Marandis used to walk around during the daytime. supposed to unsheath the sword unless it's gonna get blood on it um, so I'm not gonna unsheath it so these are my um, $30 glasses from Bartel drugs which I'm trading out for gold glasses solid gold glasses with finished diamond plates and they work and they work great they literally work great it's literally the same prescription as my glasses <laughs> Colombian emerald, Colombian, 
Afghan, Russian, and Zambian. So about a million dollars on your hand. 850. Oh. What's it like investing in jewelry? Like, does it increase in value? Like, if, is, do people, is this just for personal or can you invest in jewelry? Is that a thing? See, a lot of people actually buy it for investment purposes also. With over time, the value of the stone increases, okay. especially stones which are rare. Uncle used to make jewelry, you always had this naughty humor. So he used to hide something in the jewelry always that you will find out later on when you're actually wearing them or keeping them inside. So the back work you'll always see. But then when you open this, is the real art. Should I open it? The big surprise inside. Go for it. But the beautiful piece of art comes with amazing work done on it, like all positions and all different things. Yes, please. Can I hold it. <laughs> what do you got there, Eric? I got there. I Hold it up closer. I believe I've got here uh, something probably has a hidden compartment in here. Actually, that's also really fun. Like, I'll show you that fun thing from inside. Oh, wow. So that comes with. You can actually play with it. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at the, the design though. It's the Kama Sutra all throughout. And somebody lovingly created this piece of art. I was going to ask if there's something I could bring home to my wife, but not this one. <laughs> the next piece, believe it or not, they don't have enough money for me to wear it properly. So we to give you a different attire. So it this, is... what you did right now, was a typical um, Kundan Meena, which is uh -huh. the Indian royal jewels. Now you're going to do the Indo-Russian style, which okay. is the more okay. of the contemporary one. But that, that's not the naked one. That is the naked one, oh, but you can just wear it on it. Okay, good. <laughs> so apparently you wear this naked. Uh, yeah. But uh, they can't afford that. 300 carats. Holy cow. It's a beautiful piece, and again, when I'm going to show you from the back. Oh, oh wow. wow, I actually prefer the back. I prefer the back, yeah. Wow. On the front, like, you have the bigger diamonds. In the back, you have the smaller little, little diamonds, but done with beautiful hand-done work on silver. So this is actually silver. Wow. Such a spot. Silver and gold at the same time now. So that there, what you see, it's a rose-cut diamond. I see how this works. That's how it works. Ah, I see now. So you know, that's how when I said, you don't need anything with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Definitely. That's pretty cool. You go with that, he'll help you with the belt. Maybe with that you want to wear this bracelet. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the coolest and most expensive dress up I have ever played. Yeah, mom, look how far I've come now. I know. <laughs> I used to go through my mom's old jewelry box to play dress ups. Yeah. You, you, you just won. <laughs> my friends already think I lead a ridiculous life, but now it has gone completely over the top. In a good way. This is what we do. We go out and we bring the world back to everybody. And not just the world that you generally see, but we bring back these details of life and places you might never experience. So. I'm pretty excited to show you this place, and if you're in India, at least a visit, if not come by and uh, find something that you might curate for your own treasures.